Hi, I'm Jill Cordes, and this is Bruno, and we're in Las Vegas. Bruno is a rescue dog from the Las Vegas Animal Foundation, and he's going to help me discover Las Vegas' pet style. <laughs> Just like every pet owner has their own pet style, the unique way they live with their pet, every city and town in the country does too. We're going to sniff out the best dog run, the best pet store, the most pet-friendly hotel, and get the real scoop on what it's like to live with or travel with a cat or dog in different cool spots all over the country. If you're like me and traveling to Las Vegas with your pooch, there are several pet-friendly hotel options. We decided to check into the Westin and check out their puppy love. Let's go. Welcome to Westin. Hey, you are? I'm Ronnie Anderson. I have a very rambunctious dog who's been cooped up in a car. Well, that's great. We have a dog car just to the side. Shake like a bone. He can run all day. <laughs> What's his name? This is Bruno, and he's traveling to Vegas with me, and we're looking for pet-friendly hotels, and we understand the Westin is one of them. Absolutely. In fact, we have special pet amenities in the room waiting for you. Great. Well, great. Show us the way. Absolutely. Here we are to your room. Ooh, lovely. Not only are we pet friendly, but we're people friendly as well. Of course. We have the heavenly bed for you. Which I love. And right next to you, we have the heavenly dog bed. Ooh, come here, Bruno. Check out your own little bed. Now, Bruno, we have a treat for you. Left on the bed, additionally, we have some bowls that uh, you can uh, hopefully brought your own food. Of course. Now, if you run out next door at the convenience store, they do sell the dog food. Or our concierge will be happy to help you out with that. Even the concierge can help you get your dog food. That's Absolutely. really sweet. And you make it very easy for us pet owners. We don't have to carry our bowls of water with us or our pet food bowls. Absolutely. What's in the bag? Well, a small treat. Um, some some uh, supplies so maybe you can clean up after Bruno after you're in the dog bar. Okay, and gotcha. a name tag so we can identify him while he's here just in case he doesn't have. Okay, thank you so much. No We're excited to be two. here. I'll leave you two alone. Okay, Here's settle in. Thank you. Thank you for coming to work. All right, take care. Bruno, what do you think? It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, here, let's come over here. Let's settle in. <sighs> Bruno. Oh, I know what you want. He wants that dog park. He's already digging. All right, let's go, big boy. Day's not over yet. Come on, Bruno, let's go to the dog park. Now, it's not a big piece of green, but it is in the shape of a dog bone, which is really cute. And check this out. They even have their own little supply of scooping so you can properly clean up after your dog. What do you want to do? You want to go see some green? You want to see the dog bone? Let's go, sweetie. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, how are you doing? You know, there are dogs like Bruno in shelters all over the country. No matter what your pet style is, always keep in mind that there is a dog waiting for you somewhere out there. Maybe he's the one. Bruno, you hear that? Those are all your friends, aren't they? 550 of them, actually. 550 dogs are here at the Lead Animal Shelter, run by the Las Vegas Animal Foundation. It's an incredible place, one of the most amazing shelters I've ever seen. A complete state-of-the-art facility, and it's completely green. Solar-powered, radiant heat, water recycling. Time to play. We're going to go talk to the woman who's in charge of it all. Let's go. I am here with Diane Orgel, who runs this incredible facility. This is actually where Bruno's from, right? Bruno uh, came to us a couple of weeks ago. His owners surrendered him, and we're hoping he'll find a home really soon, just like all the rest of these guys. All right, I'm going to hand Bruno off to you. I okay. want you to show me around a little bit. Uh, tell me about these. Are these the solar panels? These are the solar panels. This is um, an area that has sun about 95% of the time, so it's foolish not to use the energy that the sun can right. uh, produce for us. Yeah, you're in Vegas. Um, we also have a water recycling plant, and that is one of the biggest problems in Vegas right now, is how we find enough water for all of the people who are moving here. So right. we recycle about 85% of the water that's used to clean all of these buildings. You also have cats. We have cats, we have snakes, we have a goat, we have pigs, we have um, fish from time to time, water turtles, every little pocket animal. We even have sugar gliders right now. So I don't even know what those are. <laughs> it's amazing. We are, we are the county, city, and North Las Vegas shelter, which means that we have to accept every animal that anyone wants to bring to us. Well, Diane, thank you so much for showing us around your facility and for introducing us to all the animals, including Bruno, who we still have to go and uh, play with today. He will enjoy every minute of it. Okay. Thank you for coming. 
Here in Las Vegas, if you and your pet are high rollers or you just want to look like you are, you got to check out the Snooty Pet. It's a high-end pet boutique full of all kinds of accessories, even deluxe spa treatments. You ready for a spa treatment, Bruno? Here is Stephanie Thomas, owner of the Snooty Pet. You and your husband, Kevin, own this wonderful boutique. Tell me, you know, why all the high-end stuff here in Vegas? Oh, it's something fun, you know, to add a little flair to your dog and, you know, add some excitement. And people love to dress. It's like their kids. Is Vegas the perfect place for this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's growing so much, and we have a lot of people from California. And California is such a, a you know, animal state. You know, people out there just love their pets. So out here, yeah, it's, it, it definitely has grown a lot. Tell me about the deluxe spa treatments. What does that entail? Um, we have a fufu, a ooh la la, a teacher's pet, um, which includes like massage, uh, nail file, moisturizing treatments, um, special one on one where they get to hang out with the groomer instead of being in a cage. Um, just, just whatever you can think of. We also have a glamour girl where their nails get painted. What does ooh la la entail? That's the uh, 15 minute massage, moisturizing treatment, teeth brushing, and a nail file. Wow, so the whole, the royal treatment. Mm -hmm. They get the royal treatment. And Stephanie, as the owner of this pet boutique, what is your pet style? My pet style is um, that our dogs are active in our lives. I mean, my dogs come and hang out at the store. Um, we just bought bikes and we've got little, um, a little trailer to go with so they can go bicycling with us. Um, very active. I have one who's a little more foo-foo, you know, <laughs> she'll wear the bows. The other ones won't have any of that. Okay. So that's my pet style. All right, thanks so much. You're in Vegas, you know where to go, the snooty pet. When you need supplies or food for your pet, check out Bon Appetit, one of the biggest and best pet supply stores in all of Las Vegas. Hi, I'm James Allman, the owner of Bon Appetit. We're a gourmet pet treat bakery and luxury pet boutique. We specialize in high-end, quality pet items and holistic pet foods. This is definitely doggy bling bling in this counter. If somebody wants just Total outrageous, over-the-top Swarovski crystal. You can do something like this. So then they've got their retractable leash that's encrusted, and then they can get the matching Pave set uh, Swarovski collar. Uh, retail on something like this is going to run you about three seventy-five. And then we have the Panic Mouse for uh, the one lone kitty toy that we have in the store, and it's just battery-operated. You can sit it on the floor, let the cats go crazy with it. If you're like me, my dogs, I sit it on the floor, the dogs bark at it, and they jump over it, they don't actually touch it. Let's go check out our kitchen. These are our um, apple oatmeal muffins. Um, basically, it's oat flour, applesauce, and then sprinkled with oatmeal on top. Totally healthy for the dogs. Um, a little bit on the bland side, so it's good for dogs that may have some uh, digestive issues or sensitive stomachs. And again, along with everything in our store, it's all handmade and small batches so that it's all fresh. I've always been a cook. I uh, baked uh, professional cakes on the side for the longest time. And then I, uh, that's why all of our treats are so decorated, is I put a lot of um, emphasis on the physical looks of the treats, because I just want them to be appealing. And then here we've got, this is our latest creation. These are our carob chip cookies. And I really wanted these to look actually like a human chocolate chip cookie. And it's actually surprised even some of my staff. They came in and thought that I was making treats for, for them, but they're for the dogs. Uh, again, it's carob chips, uh, oat flour, a little bit of peanut butter, and some milk. Um, carrot cake cookies, awesome treat for dogs. All it is is pureed carrots and oatmeal. They're not bad. <laughs> they're pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for coming by Bon Appetit. Appreciate you guys. Next time you win a jackpot, come on back. We talked to Diane Quam, the publisher and editor of Las Vegas Dog. She's one of the most knowledgeable and passionate pet owners in town, and she told us about Las Vegas' pet style. We've come a long way since we first moved here about 25 years ago. At that point, there was basically one dog park, Nevada uh, Dog Fanciers Park. That's where everyone had to go. Since then, we have added all kinds of dog parks just like this where people can come and, and play with their dogs before work, after work, whenever they can. Um, as far as a vibe for Las Vegas, I think we still have a long way to go. We don't have a lot of businesses that are pet friendly, restaurants. There are some that will let you sit outside 
and have a cup of coffee or something. But for the most part, we still need to go a long way to compare ourselves to someone like San Diego, where they're very, very pet friendly. It's amazing how much people spend on their pets. You know, $34 billion a year, that's a lot of money. So there are always new people coming into the business and trying to get a piece of that pie. Well, it's been wonderful, and I've met the best people. Dog people are the most wonderful, loving, caring people. It's been absolutely great. Just a few miles off the strip is the Desert Breeze Dog Run, one of the most popular in town. Let's talk to some of the locals about Las Vegas's pet style. Um, basically, we come here usually almost every day, and then twice a day in the neighborhood. This one, I've been to quite a few, but I like this one the best, because it's all fenced in, and they have areas for all the, you know, separate dogs. It's a nice park. Uh, I've, I've used this park, as I said, on and off as I've lived here. I come here quite often. He's probably here every night. He's not at daycare. Um, if I leave him overnight, obviously, then I don't have him. But usually I like to get a nice 15, 20, 30 minute run out of him. Maxie, come here. Maxie, come here. And uh, he used to like to mix it up with the big dogs, but then as he, like I said, I had to be a little careful. He's got into a couple of scraps because he has no clue how little he is. So. Bunga, bunga. The Strip, with all its neon splendor, can make us forget that right near the city are some really beautiful natural spots, perfect for a long walk with your dog. Kimberly Lewis has even written a book about great hikes with your dog around Las Vegas, and she's going to show us one of her favorite parks and trails. Hi, my name is Kimberly Lewis, and I'm Paula Garrett. We're the co-authors of the book Best Hikes with Dogs, Las Vegas and Beyond, and we're here at Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. The best seasons for hiking in Las Vegas are really fall through spring. Summer's too hot unless you want to go up to Mount Charleston and then have nice cool temperatures up there. And Red Rock Canyon is BLM's first conservation area. Um, there's a wonderful 13-mile scenic drive that goes through the park and off of the scenic drive there are several trails that you can go hiking off of. It's another popular location for rock climbing as well. Uh, this is a wild burrow. Um, they're found here at, around Red Rock Canyon. They're actually remnants of when miners lived in the area. And there's an established population that still lives in the area. There's a viable population here. There's also wild horses that live in the area that are from the same era. So um, in a lot of the backpacks, the first thing that we try and do is always pack water if they can carry it. So um, Molly here, has, or excuse me, Cammy has a pack that actually has a bladder bag in it so that she can drink her water out of this. Well, one of the first things you'll notice is all of our dogs carry backpacks. Um, they come in different styles and sizes, and depending on your dog, um, you can pack different amounts of goods in it. Obviously for Princess, which is a little poodle here, she just has the little one, so she's not going to carry as much weight as CJ here, um, so he's got a more substantial pack. We like to carry a first aid kit, and we've outfitted this for both us and the dog, so we have all the things that we might need to stop ble a, a cut from bleeding or um, to pull out cactus spines if we have to, and just regular first aid stuff. We also carry pictures of the dogs in case they run off or something. We could give those to officials to have a lookout so if they find the dog. Nevada is actually 85% public land owned, so you can go out to a lot of areas out here and have some fun. Get to remote areas as well. 